welcome my friends to our series on friendship this week and these are except for my book who is your friend who is your friend in our episode today we are looking at something different on the subject of friendship in this week we are looking at this when the love of god is absent from friendships friends don't become platonic friends anymore they become boyfriends and girlfriends friendly love promotes friendships but godly love purifies and protects friendships choose a friend with god's pure love choose a friend with god's pure love in our subtitle for today we are looking at this be a friend with god's pure love be a friend with god's pure love that is our subtitle for today in this week's discussion on friendship this week friendship is purely a relationship of love it is a relationship where the uncommon nature of god is truly experienced any friendship that does not manifest and enthrone the character of god is an, is not a friendship at all friendship is the greatest place where the uncommon love of God is demonstrated. Friendship is a place where God demonstrates His power and nature to us. Friendship is the greatest relationship to the heart of God. And it's important for us to understand these basics of friendship when it comes to understanding the love of God and how to be a friend with God's pure love to our colleagues and to our friends. Brothers, God designed friendship to be the easiest and simplest relationship where his loving nature and character would be known. Many relationships are crucial in our lives, but friendship seeks to take the preeminence and highest place of them all. And as a matter of fact, when we build friendship, we create the atmosphere to demonstrate the unfathomable and limitless love of God to others. Any friend whose love for us is full of manipulation, dictatorship, and towards a fulfillment of his or her personal desires is not really a friendship at all, or is not really a friend at all. Friendship is a place for experiencing the true love of God. In summary and in short, I will say this, true friendship is the love of God. True friendship is the love of God. True friendship is the love of God. God's love is not far from us. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So the Holy Spirit is the true spirit of friendship and is the one who infuses God's love in us for our friends by the holy spirit we cannot manifest the true nature and the true love of god to others and it is important for us to understand these three basic keys of friendship first of all is that any friend who has no regard for the holy spirit cannot love you as god loves you think about it Secondly, our respect and reception of the authority and administration of the Holy Spirit decides, our, decides the extent and depth of our love for others. And thirdly, if you want to choose a friend, choose a friend with God's pure love. Brothers, any friend without the love of God Will create painful experiences for us. Any friend without the love of God will superimpose themselves on you and have their way in your life. The love of God is patient. The love of God is kind. The love of God is good. The love of God is full of self-control. The love of God never thinks evil of others. The love of God is selfless. The love of God never keeps records of wrongs. The love of God is unconditional. It is important for us to understand this week as we come into contact with others that 
God's love is given to us to demonstrate to them. Friendship is the highest place for experiencing the love and the power of God. It's only when we have a true friend that we truly experience the love of God. This week, make friends with God's pure love in your hearts and be a friend who lifts others up and demonstrate and make them feel the uncommon power and love of God in their lives. Don't be a friend who brings others down. Don't be a friend who criticizes and, and, and focuses on the mistakes and flaws of others. Lift them up. Let them experience the touch of God. Let them experience the love of God. And I pray that God himself will bless you this week and empower you to be a friend with his love for others. Once again, I'm John Atta, the author of Who is Your Friend? And my book is still available on Amazon. I entreat you to get a copy for yourself and God will surely use it to enrich and bless your life. So we meet again next week. Stay blessed and have a blessed week. In Jesus' name, Amen.